Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Jakin Zaman. Welcome to this video. Hope you guys are having a wonderful time. Right, so we have reached hadith number five. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbi ajma'in amma ba'd. Okay, so the hadith says, وعن أبي موسى الأشعري رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم مثل المؤمن الذي يقرأ القرآن كمثل الأترجة ريحها طيب وطعمها طيب ومثل المؤمن الذي لا يقرأ القرآن كمثل التمر لا ريح لها وطعمها حلو ومثل المنافق الذي يقرأ القرآن مثل الريحان ريحها طيب وطعمها مر ومثل المنافق الذي لا يقرأ القرآن كمثل الحنظلة ليس لها ريح وطعمها مر وفي رواية مثل الفاجر بدل المنافق رواه أحمد والبخاري ومسلم وابو داود الترمذي والنسائي وابن ماجه She reported from Abu Musa al-Ash'ari رضي الله عنه that he said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said the example of the believer who recites the Qur'an is like the example of a citron fruit. Its fragrance is pleasant, وطعمها, and its taste is pleasant. ومثل المؤمن, and the example of a believer, الذي لا يقرأ القرآن, the one who doesn't read the Qur'an, كمثل التمرة, is like the example of a date. لا ريح لها, has no fragrance, وطعمها, حل, but its taste is sweet. ومثل المنافق and the example of a hypocrite الذي يقرأ القرآن who reads the Quran مثل الريحانة like the ريحانة flower ريحها طيب its smell is fragrant وطعمها مر but its taste is bitter ومثل المنافق and the example of a منافق a hypocrite الذي لا يقرأ القرآن who doesn't read the Quran كمثل الحنظلة like the like the example of a حنظلة plant ليس لها ريح has no fragrance وطعمها مر and its taste is bitter. And in one narration, the wording of مثل الفاجر, example of a an, an open, uh, disobedient person, um, uh, in place of munafiq. رواه أحمد والبخاري ومسلم, and all of these guys have narrated it. Right, so, the hadith mentions four things now, right? Four things related to the Qur'an. In other words, the Qur'an, like we said, the Qur'an is the kalam of Allah, subhanAllah. Right, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His kalam, it beautifies anything. The Qur'an beautifies anything. Now we've learned this from past hadith as well. So, the Prophet sallallahu he gave example of several types of, of individuals. Right, so I'm going to categorize the individuals like this. So you have... Believer and believer, and then we have I'll do them lower hypocrite and hypocrite. So, this is the example of a believer. So, this is a believer who reads the Quran. Right, the example of the believer who reads the Quran. And this is the example of the believer who does not read. Okay. And this is the example of a hypocrite who reads the Quran. And this example of a hypocrite who does not read. So the Prophet وسلم, he said that the example of a believer who actually reads the Quran is like the example of a citron fruit, right? So the uturruja, which is the citron fruit, uh, citron, okay, like an orangey, lemony kind of fruit. And if a, 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 a believer who does not read the Quran their example is like um, a date. Right. So you guys know what dates are. 
And the example of a hypocrite who reads the Quran is like the example of a Rehana flower. So it's like a flower. A Rehana flower. Rehana. And the example of a hypocrite that does not read the Quran is like a Hanzala. Yeah, so Hanzala it has like thorns on there. The Hanzala flower plant. So if you look at this, the believer who reads the Quran is like a citrus fruit. What does a citrus fruit do? It tastes nice. And it smells nice, you know, if you have like an orange or a lemon and you open it in your house and the whole room starts to smell of a lemon. And it's very nice and people use these kind of things in detergents as well because it has a very nice, uh, you know, uh, pleasant smell. So by reading the Quran, what a person does is that recitation of the Quran beautifies the believer. It spreads the benefit of the Quran around right? and people can sense when they hear a believer reading the Quran, they can sense this beauty. A believer who doesn't read the Quran is not all bad. It's like a date. Like if you try to smell a date, you probably won't be able to smell anything. Um, but if you taste a date, it tastes nice. So the only thing here is the taste. There's no fragrance. So people can't detect, right? People can't detect the beauty of the Quran because he's not reciting it. And a hypocrite, even a hypocrite can make the Quran sound very beautiful. Right, so a hypocrite, if he reads the Quran, this person, he makes people hear the Quran. Like even if someone who's a bad person reads the Quran, people around benefit from it. So they can smell, yeah, they can smell the, the, the fragrance of the Quran, the beauty of the Quran spreads, like an aroma spreads in a room. And the hypocrite who doesn't read the Quran, because he doesn't, you know, he's, he doesn't have true faith, then he, he inside he is not pure. And he doesn't spread any pure, so there's nothing for him, right? Nothing. This is the worst situation that you can be in. This is the worst. May Allah save us. Right? But anyone who reads the Quran will benefit. And ideally, a believer should read the Quran because the believer has the belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that belief that strengthens the connection they have with Allah and it spreads the benefits of this. And the benefits of this are obviously spread because the person will be reciting and people will listen and people become motivated. So the Quran has benefit in all situations, right? And the greatest benefit of the Quran that we can see in this hadith is that its fragrance spreads across the place. And you can try this yourself as well. Try to read the Quran regularly and your recitation will have an impact on other people as well. Right, so you read the Quran in a melodious tone, you learn how to recite the Quran and the recitation of the Quran itself, it has the power to be able to influence people. And many people, you've probably seen this yourself, you uh, switch on the YouTube, you put the Quran on. It doesn't matter who's reciting, whether that person, you don't know if he's a, a, a believer, you don't know if he's a, a non-believer, but just listen to the Quran being recited and it automatically calms you down. It makes you feel happy. It's like a fragrance spreading throughout the entire room of, that you are living in. Yeah. So this is why this hadith shows the importance that of reciting the Quran. That recitation of the Quran, even by someone who is not a believer, is a hypocrite, will always have benefit as well. So we should always motivate people to recite the Quran as much as possible. Jazakumullah khair, guys. And if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and let me know what you guys think of these videos. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair for watching this video. I hope to see all of you guys. If you guys are interested, please leave us feedback, get in contact with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullah khair guys for all of your support. Without your support, I wouldn't have been able to produce the videos that I've put up on my YouTube channel. And there is so much more that I really want to do. And without the support of you guys who are patrons, generously supporting this channel, I've been able to get myself a camera, which as you guys can see, the quality of this camera, a mic system, software, I've been able to hire an editor. So 
what do I want to do? I want to make lots and lots and lots of more videos for beginners, for intermediate, advanced in the subjects like Arabic and Fiqh and Hadith and Tafsir and Aqidah and all those other things as well. And for this to happen, again, this channel needs support. So if you guys want to become patrons and support this channel, then check out the link below. Also, if you do become patrons, you'll have access to videos that I don't put up on my normal YouTube channel. So check that out, inshallah. And there's most other perks as well that you guys can uh, benefit from. And if you want to um, access uh, this channel through social media, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, Facebook page, and other things as well that you can visit. So Jazakumullah khair again, guys. Thank you very much for your support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.